Alright everybody, so what we have here are some uh, old or previously used spark plugs. I don't know if you can see the quality of them. Long story short, um, these plugs in store are about 12 about $10 a pop. I'm going to go ahead and clean them off, thoroughly clean them to try and make them whole and new again um, so I can reinsert them. They're good for 100,000 miles, but um, if you modify your vehicle in any way, shape, or form, significant modifications um, with fuel, expect spark plugs to uh, go through their life cycle faster than usual. So um, I'm going to use acetone, uh, this brush, welding uh, bristle brush. And I have a 7-Eleven cup full of acetone, which the plugs are soaking in. So I'm going to take them out and brush them thoroughly and get all the gunk and grime off. Um, there is another product called Strip X, which I was contemplating using, which is, I guess, stronger than this. Um, the reason why I didn't go with it is because it's fatal if you don't follow the instructions to a T. So I decided to go with acetone um, first and foremost. And show the results um, but if you do decide to use this uh, other product from clean strip the clean strip company called strip X please 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 follow those instructions to a T um, it requires 30 minutes of soaking it's really used to get the varnish and paint off of wood but yeah it did say it's fatal um, and do not use it in a closed area because um, you can die all right but we're sticking with acetone today so all right here we go so we've got our spark plugs here, dipping, sitting in um, acetone. I don't know if you can see it clearly there. Uh, hold on one second. Ugh. I hope that light helps, but um, yeah. So we've got our spark plugs. Let me find a pretty bad one. This will work here I've been sitting in acetone so what I'm going to do now is show how I'm going to clear the gunk off of this guy so take this like so get my uh, you can get this brush two of them for about four dollars at Harbor Freight Tools in the welding section used to uh, uh, scrape off the uh, welded pieces you've already used so I'm just going at it so, I've already exposed some of the threads here. Now, I'm not forcing, putting a lot of heavy force on the threads. I'm just uh, maybe putting 30% of force, 40% of force on the threads and just going back and forth to clear it off. Why I'm doing this? Because I don't feel like spending another, uh, what, do it $12 times 16 spark plugs. You do the math. I don't feel like spending that every 20,000, 30,000 miles. On these, I know these are good. There's just a lot of gunk on them. And this is what happens when you upgrade larger, two larger fuel injectors and uh, other modifications, ECU tune, Things like that, box tune. So yeah, more fuel comes through, and with more fuel coming through, the plugs can build up and get fouled sooner. Okay. So and I'll try and get. Oh, let's see. Can we get a close up of the tip? Hold on. You see that gunk there? You can kind of see it around the base of it. The carbon buildup. I'm going to get all that off and on the actual uh, tip here. Not just the tip, but the uh, metal arced portion there too. I'm going to remove all this gunk. Alright, I'm going to show you how. I want to kind of see it. Alright, so here we go. Let 
Most people would say, oh, you shouldn't do that. Just throw them away and buy a new set. Like I said, there's only been 20, 30,000 miles on these or so. Yeah. I don't want to, actually no. Take it back, these have seen more than 30,000 miles. I can't say, because these are the ones that came with the vehicle. Yeah, the ones that are on there now have 30,000 miles. And that's going on, this is gonna happen to those next. Those are colder plugs, so. I'm uh, gonna do this with both sets of plugs. The stock sixes, six temperature rating, and then the sevens that are on the, the vehicle. This spark plug is ILF R6A from NGK. I have the seven A's on the vehicle now. But yeah, this is just soaked in acetone for about 10 minutes or so. And after this, it'll go right back in to some acetone. Swap hands. You kind of get the, the picture. I'm just letting it record so you can see how long it took to get to certain results. Instead of cutting off and then just showing you the finished product. Now, if these spark plugs were $1.50 each or $2, like your average spark plug, these are iridiums, by the way, not platinum, iridiums. Um, if they were $2 a pop, I wouldn't be wasting my time doing this, but seeing as though they're pricey, yeah. I wanna have an extra set on rotation, just in case. I like to order my um, items and spark plugs from online, so I don't wanna wait. For these things to come in the mail. So I'll show you where I'm at now so far. Let's see here. So the gunk is coming off the base of the electrode quite nicely. I still got some more scrubbing. Um, keep in mind, I might put this on my uh, bench binder buffer, not so much for the not bench grinder buffer not so much for the grinding but the buffing be careful of buffing these the thread the threads out on this spark plug from what i understand there's no need for anti-seize because it has a bivalent coating i guess different two different metals on the threads so they don't really seize um if you were to stick this on a buffer and buff it too hard i don't know if you there's a possibility you may take off that bivalent coating I'm not sure so when i do stick it on the buffer i'm just focused on this area up top, not so much the threads, because I don't want it to, uh, I don't want to remove that anti-seize property of the spark plug and then have it get stuck in the head. All right, so here we go, a little bit more scrubbing. This is pretty straightforward. It's not rocket science or anything. After I want to go ahead and measure the gap and see. Yeah. But um, these NGKs come already they come with a, a cardboard cylinder already around them in the box they're already gapped out of the box that's one cool thing with the ngks you don't have to worry about the iridiums that come with that cardboard cylinder around it to prevent it from uh, to prevent this from being dropped and the gap closing so that's a plus they're probably still the same gap but um i'll double check let's see i'm not sure what i want to go with as far as gapping may leave it how it is all right yeah, we're doing pretty good so now I'm gonna focus on the actual electrode this time there we go put it at an angle and let the whipping of the brushes do the work not so much the force the whipping of the back and forth that's going to do the work. 
So I know this is really simplistic and straightforward. And uh, some may say, why are you even making a video about something as simple as this? But hey, anything I do, for those that don't know, it might help. So why not? That's my thought. That's my philosophy and take on it. Kind of cool as you can see with the bristle brush uh, it took off the um, carbon build if you look closely at the ceramic from this side you can see that the brush took off all that carbon build up on the ceramic let me see if I can get it in here right there where my fingernail is you can see it right there so it exposed a nice shiny electrode tip from that shroud of carbon buildup, so I might do a little bit more to get on this uh, arched metal portion, that carbon right there. I might take that out, not sure. Um, and also, I might hit lightly with sandpaper on the underside of here, just to ensure that there's no uh, carbon buildup. But yeah, this is how it's coming along. And if you want. bringing out that electrode nice let's take another one that's sitting in and let's put them side by side okay so this is what I scrubbed all right and this is I don't know if this is as bad but yeah you can see a lot of that white ashy carbon Do a little bit more scrubbing and then on to the uh, the buffer. If your spark plugs are cheap and inexpensive and affordable, just buy another set. You don't gotta waste your time with this. If you have something that's high performance and yes the purists may say oh you're such a cheapskate you just buy a new pair spend the hundred and eighty two hundred dollars for a set of spark plugs uh, just deal with it that's what comes with a luxury performance car and do that every three four months if that's what they want to do they can do it for me uh, I'm all about uh, making your money work for you and uh, using that money to invest in other things yeah. being frugal <laughs> As this is fru frugal fabrication. Yeah. Nothing wrong with being frugal. Alright. I think we're good. Now we're off to the buffer. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to take this guy and um, use the buffing wheel to get all the little imperfections that are still there out. Let's see if we can. Yeah, there are a few there, but for the most part, the brush got a lot of that carbon buildup around the electrode off. There's a nice shine that electrode tip. So we're gonna get this little archway here, all the rest of this carbon off. Being careful not to hit the threads with this. 
buffing wheel. Why? Because we don't want to lose that bivalent coating that's on these particular types of spark plugs. All right, so here we go. And you'd want to wear gloves. Um, uh, for the sake of the video, let's do this. All right, all right, all right. I got my gloves. Welding gloves, all right, here we go. You want to do this lightly, not hard, lightly. The goal is to get the carbon buildup off. Not to sand or buff the material down, but remove the carbon. Now you don't have to go to this degree, the, in some cases the bristle might be more than enough for you. Or you go and use the bristle a little bit more if you don't have a shop bench grinder or buffer. Quite a bit of that carbon buildup. There's a little patch at the top. Yeah, and if we look at the side here, we've removed some too. So a little bit more to go. I want to show that to you guys and get that on film, but here we go. I think overall, we're pretty good. For the most part, nice, clean, and shiny. That electrode tip is cleared out. Look at the base of the ceramic around the electrode tip. Tip. A lot of that uh, carbon buildup has been pushed down and brushed off. Yeah. So overall, I think we're pretty good. And this is how you do it. I'm going to hit this portion with the brush and just get that off just for eye looking. Say, oh yeah, and also um, you can hit this side with the brush too. You don't have to use a buffing tool. A brush would be more than enough on this portion to uh, make that nice and shiny. And copper end as far as it goes. Uh, I'll do that just for this purpose. Yeah. Always, always wear gloves.
sure now. It's a nice shine to it. At the base is how it looked before, and this is the nice shine to it overall. Alright, and there you go, that's how you do it. Um, I might sit this in some uh, acetone just as a follow-up, just in case. Alright, now wipe it off with lint-free cloth.